the abduction of our children. When will it end? How will it end? I don't think any one of us can tell. But it is important that we continue to stress and to remind ourselves not only that these are abnormal times, but it seems to be, to me anyway, times of the shirking of responsibilities in very key areas. We cannot permit ourselves, we just cannot continue in this fashion. Something drastic, meaningful has to take place and it has to be collected. This is no longer the responsibility of those at the top, supposed to be in charge of security, in charge of governance. They have clearly failed the populace. They failed us. It's no, there's no point trying to reason it out, to find excuses, to lay blame or whatever. The important thing is that we are very close to accepting a culture of the unacceptable. A few years now, I think we're reaching the point where in any state where any child is kidnapped, that state should shut down completely. And other states, in sympathy, in solidarity, should at least shut down some of their activities. We shouldn't wait for an enemy, faceless, airborne, unpredictable enemy like COVID, to shut down, to make us shut down, to say in protest and as a statement of the unacceptable, we are shutting ourselves down until this situation is resolved. I think we reach a point where when our children, as I said at the beginning, are taken away from us, we should, at least for some time, shut down. Sounds extreme, but I don't know what else one can propose at this particular time. Yes, life must go on, but even those activities which generate and enhance our very existence, I think I've got to take on a tonality of regret, of the unacceptable, of protestation, of mobilization on whatever level it is possible for us as a community of human beings. Uh, it is not, however, uh, a day for too much negativities. We'll get those children back, I know that. It's a price we're paying and the consequence, the permanence of those scars on our collective psyche. That is what worries me. This movement was accepting as a way of life the absence of the young generation, the compelled, forced, enforced absence of our own children.